Is Litcode Premium worth $159 a year? I have a non-mathematical brain and I'm still surprised that I was even able to learn how to code. But being able to build something with code is totally different from the algorithmic questions that they ask you during the coding interview. So I thought that getting myself a premium subscription to Litcode would somehow speed up my progress. And it's also one of my buddies who recently got a job in one of the big tech companies recommended that I do. And so so I did. Here is a quick scroll through what you get with the premium subscription. I didn't really care about the autocomplete or the debugger because the whole idea of the preparation is being able to write on the whiteboard and debug your code yourself. But I did try using the lead code debugger earlier today and it worked just as expected. Except I couldn't figure out how to see both the debugger and my code without one of them being cut off. What I was mostly interested in was the solutions provided by the lead code team rather than its users. And not really deal breaking but nice to have were questions by the company, the ability to sort by prevalence and the lightning judge. Because I hate waiting. What I did like is that they provide you with more than one solution for most of the problems. But to my surprise I found that some of the questions didn't have any non-user solutions posted. Which accounts for about 90% of why I even got the lead code subscription. I should also make a note that some of the solutions that were posted it were really poorly worded, but the majority of the ones I looked at were actually good enough. One thing I'd improve is to make sure that there is a Python solution available for every problem. Most of their solutions have Java as the language of choice, but I find that half of my mental energy goes towards deciphering what this Java code is about, rather than figuring out the actual algorithm. It's definitely a lot easier to do in Python, even if you're not a Python developer. Another note is is that not all of the solutions had video explanation. But for the videos posted, I liked that there is a bookmark for when the coding part starts. And I found lately that watching videos doesn't really work for me that well. Someone has to be really good at simplifying things and not making me bored in order for me to even remember what the video was about, less memorizing certain algorithm or not even memorizing, but understanding how we arrived to the solution. One thing I find overwhelming on lead code and similar platforms is the number of questions there is. For example, there are over 1000 questions on how to deal just with arrays. I almost wish there were fewer problems and more structure around which patterns you have to apply in order to solve these problems. Being able to view questions by the company gives you some of this organization. And the questions are even split up by the general question types, like whether it's to do with arrays and strings or trees and graphs, but once again, Again, it's just a grind trying to solve for the most part random problems. I'm sure that would be more useful once you know which company you're going for. And that's why I'm currently looking into the Algo Monster or Grokin the Coding interview on educative.io as alternatives because they seem to provide that structure. And let me know if you have any experience with either of these. I also did try Algo Expert in the past, but as I said earlier, those long videos don't really work for me. Especially especially since I have limited time to study. To sum it up, LitCode Premium is worth it if you have plenty of free time and you just want to make sure that you can solve pretty much any problem thrown at you. If you are short on time like me though, I would look into something more structured and less intimidating. And if you will find that you still need more practice with certain types of questions, you can always see if the free version of LitCode has those questions unlocked. And if you're still deciding whether to even become a software developer, then watch the next video.